This is a new item, y'all. Here's a new find at Costco, y'all. We're very excited to try Costco's newest addition to their bakery skincare brand from Japan. I'm thinking the broth is going to be good. Yummy! Very delicious. Throughout this video, you're gonna get some reviews. We'll put the prices right here for you to see. We got some great deals. Without further ado, let's get started with the show and tell. Let's start with the frozen section because it's hot here in Texas. As I show and tell the frozen stuff, I'll be passing it off to my assistant over here who will directly place it into the freezer. First off, check this out. We got ourselves some shoyu ramen. Let's insert now the kids enjoying this. They'll let you know whether it's a thumbs up or thumbs down. If it gets a thumbs up, you know it's good because they've all experienced ramen from Japan. What is broken? There's one. First of all, Completely peel off plastic from bowl. Once you're done with that, you fill each of them to the line. Oh, oh it was just two pieces. The line the right there. I'm also going to do this one. Careful. Wait, this is what it looks I'm like. I'm bed wrap porn. You didn't put too much in this one. So what are the next instructions? Okay, four minutes. Now I just make people open. This is what it looks like in the picture. So hopefully it will, the microwave will do magic stuff. Right, Ethan? Yep. I'm thinking the broth is going to be good. Yeah, it looks good. I don't like the corn. Ooh, it's like empty inside. It's literally just skin. I didn't the noodles, they're the most plain. These noodles are actually really good. I like plain noodles. I think he's the one who would eat spaghetti without the sauce. No. True. So it's what it looks like. Oh, mine looks better. Um, mine is a better model. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. <laughs> Look at the trash. Okay, oh, this real. is a better model, I think, like by the structure, actually. Like, oh. So what's your conclusion? Overall, it's disgusting. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Okay, yeah, bye. Next up from the freezer section, this is new, but I also saw a star, Mexican street corn. Super excited to see this. We're gonna try it in multiple dishes. I can imagine this in that Tex-Mex soup that I made. Link up here. That was delicious. This would be delicious in it. Next up, we have ourselves some orange chicken. We've already tried this. I think we've inserted this in a past Costco video. So you're gonna have to scroll through our past Costco videos if you wanna know how this turned out. But I will already let you know that everyone likes it. Otherwise, we wouldn't be repurchasing it. This needs to get in the freezer right away. This is on sale right now. These are delicious. The kids love these. Great, refreshing summer treat. Next up, pot stickers. We love these. The best way to do these ones is to boil them. You can also fry them. Either way is delicious. We've done it both ways. Our kids love these with rice. Another thing that we like to eat them with is salsa. Believe it or not, this comes from a DC. My husband, he's the one that would eat these with salsa way back in the day when we were dating. And I was like, that's weird, but it tastes good. 
So maybe try it. Next up, we like ourselves some bacon. I have not seen this until recently, the low sodium, have you? This is the low sodium Kirkland Signature Bacon and it doesn't have any sugar in the ingredients. So if you're low sodium and you don't want the extra sugar, give these a try. Grated cheese, we use this for many things. You'll see it in many of our cooking shows. Great deal at Costco. On sale at Costco right now, these little guys, these little non-dippers, our kids love these. They call them, what do you guys call them? Avocado bread. Or Can you guess why? Check out the shape. Not only avocado bread, bread pear bread too it goes between avocado bread or pear bread we got this and these are on sale like i said this is not on sale but it goes very well with these hummus dips great pairing try it good snack for kids by the way we got two of these this is the second one this is a great ham and cheese sandwich this is on sale also let's just insert it right now for your enjoyment of A2 whole milk, organic strawberries. This is new to our Costco. I haven't seen this. Let's insert the kids trying this right now. three things together that will make a delicious parfait. The granola, the whipping cream, and the Greek yogurt. You layer this, this, and this on top, just like, just like this. There you go. And you'll have a delicious parfait. And if you want to kick it up a notch, add some of those frozen blueberries. Delightful. I don't need to say anything about this. This is our favorite butter. Except. How long should I hold this so we can see the whole dance? Mandarin oranges, easy peel. We picked up some croissants. We did a big comparison, Sam's versus Costco on all the bakery items. Check out the video here if you wanna see who won on the muffins, the croissants, and the cookies sold at Costco and Sam's. This is a new item, y'all. Fire roasted corn salsa. Super excited to give this a try to eat with our Siete chips. We'll let you know whether we like it right now.
yummy. Very delicious. Also on sale at Costco, our favorite udon noodles. These are delicious. Our kids love them. It's very flavorful. Again, nothing will compare to actually eating it in Japan. Check out our series of going to Japan where you'll see us eating delicious food and sightseeing some amazing places. I just made udon. But there's one thing I didn't add, yes! I didn't add it because I don't like the flakes. I mean like, I like the little crab cake, but guess I'll add it. You are gonna add it? Yeah, I'll we'll heat up inside. I'll just have to wait a little. Anyways, it's really hot. And you have to wait a little while. Because I like these things and then the fish cake. Still hot. Mmm. They're one of my favorites. My favorite is. <laughs> Fish cake. <laughs> These weird little brown things. Taste kind of like soy sauce. But they taste really good. Then these ones. Well, you know which ones I'm talking about. I showed you these guys. They taste like, kind of like salmon. Kind of. But they're not flaky at all. They don't have the right texture, but they taste like it. And then the noodles. More noodles. Tastes just like udon. Yummy! For those that are still here watching right now, thank you so much. You're awesome. If you're new, welcome. My name is Ruby. I hope you'll join the Chain Gang family by hitting that subscribe button, ringing that bell so you'll be notified of all upcoming videos because... Let's get on with this haul. Okay, one of the most expensive but healthiest cereals at Costco. This one is gonna be super clean in ingredients, but you're gonna pay for it. Insert seven days a week, y'all. All right, friends, guess what? Speaking of Costco's bakery, do y'all know that they have banana cream pie right now? We're very excited to try Costco's newest addition to their bakery banana cream pie. And I apologize ahead of time because it got squished. It was in the bad location because we got it pretty early on and stuff got piled up on top of it. The nice checkout lady said, do you want to go switch this out? But I said, no, we're going to eat it anyway. <laughs> well, for your enjoyment and our delightment, let's insert us eating this right now. Sometimes you layer the bananas, the sliced bananas at the bottom of the banana cream pie. It doesn't have that. I think they're pureed in it or it's just banana flavoring. It tastes like bananas. It does. We finished all of the food items, so let's get to the non-food items right now. We're gonna use this to clean our house. One of our favorite laundry soaps is this. Ecos, also non-toxic, and it smells good. 
Hydro peroxide. It's a good cleaner. Pinsidine, we are in need. We're already low, so gotta pick up some more of this. It's not on sale. I really like this to go on sale before I, I buy it. Next time it goes on sale, I better stock up because ran out real quick this last time. Here's a new find at Costco, y'all. They're Swedish dishcloths. The perfect combo of a sponge and a cloth. They're supposed to be ultra absorbent. They're plant-based. And I can throw this into the washing machine and reuse it. It comes with 12. There are 12 in here, y'all. See, there's 12 in there. They're very thin. Let me, let me take it out. Oh, one at a time. There's three of every one of these designs. This one. This one. This one. And this one. Feels like paper. I can't see how this is reusable. I feel like it's disposable. Let's insert us in the future using these and we'll let you know whether they're a thumbs up, invest in them or not. Our kitchen is dirty. So let's put this brand new sponge slash cloth, Swedish cloth to the test. We have a big cleanup job. What does it feel like, Megan? Wet. Thin, squishy sponge. It kind of looks like it's ripping on the back and I just got it wet. Take a look. Does it feel like you're thoroughly cleaning that placemat? I guess. It's like a really thick napkin or something. There you go, look it. It just sucked up that soy sauce dripping. We'll report back to you whether we uh, recommend this set of 12 washable Swedish like, cloths. I feel like it's gonna rip. I'm curious on how it's gonna run through the washing machine. Okay, I just wiped the table and washed it off, rinsed it, squeezed it out, and there's no stains after we wiped that soy sauce. That's crazy, because soy sauce does stain. Yeah. Wow. Now let's go put it in the washing machine and see if it shrinks or falls apart, because it does feel like you said paper towel. A really thick paper towel. We put our oranges in the wash, and this is what came out. <laughs> Here's a side by side, just in case. <laughs> this is what you will expect after machine washing. A slight. <laughs> How'd you get that? Stop laughing, I'm sorry, I'm starting to cry. <laughs> this is so <laughs> Okay, as you can see, there's a slight difference. <laughs> Only slight. <laughs> Aiden, will you please, um, just in case people don't see the difference, can you please point it out? As you can see, one is a little wrinkly. It's just slightly wrinkly, and uh, slightly smaller. A bit smaller than usual. We're gonna go soak it in water and see what happens. And now for the second reveal, after we get it soaking wet, this is what it looks like. As you can see, the shrinkage is less. It does feel more cloth-like after being put through the wash. Okay, Aiden is giving it a nice stretch to see if he can stretch it back out to size without ripping it. There's the cloth like paper towelish like it feels like really thick paper towel and after it's been through the wash it's like a sponge. It does have shrinkage. But once you get it wet, Turns it's a not little as, bigger. It, yes, it does. There you go. All right, that's the review. Hope that was helpful. Last but not least, one of my favorite things to do is to go wander into the skincare section of Costco and we found
found a really good deal. The first skincare item that we found that is a killer deal. It's by a skincare brand from Japan. And if you know, you know, skincare in Japan or Korea, you can trust those brands 90% of the time, y'all. We found this cleansing oil on mega sale. And so I picked up actually three of them. One, two, and three. The second product from the same company, Sekise, but I'm probably getting that very wrong because my pronunciation of words in general is just off. Anywho, we have tried this already, so I can already tell you this is a wonderful emulsion moisturizer. It's it, it's very thin and lightweight. So it comes out like a, like a serum-y. It's hydrating, it's moisturizing, it brightens your skin. All of these things, it's supposed to inhibit melanin production, so for dark spots and stuff. When my skin gets really irritated, if I use the wrong product on my skin, I have used this and it's really settled down my skin and calmed it down. Actually, when I first used it, I didn't think it would be that moisturizing because it's so thin. Let's cut to us showing you the consistency of it right now. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video right here. Let us know in the comments below what was your favorite product or if there's a product you'd like us to try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are in this world. And as always, we send you our love and appreciation. Bye-bye.